Besides, everyone knows there's no such thing as Santa Claus. That's not true. Virginia's right. Well, how would you know? Have you ever seen him? What do you look like, Virginia? Mm. I mean, in real life. Ever seen him? Sure she has. We all have. There's that one in the street corner last year, ringing a bell and asking for money. Virginia means the real Santa Claus. The one who eats all the cookies and milk we leave them. Your parents do that. You'll be right. No, she's not. Of course there's a real Santa Claus. And of course Virginia hasn't seen him in real life. Well, then how can you believe in something you can't even see? I believe in God. Even though I can't see him. Come on. Are we going there to There has to be a finish to every story. All right, children, set the Christmas decorations aside for now, and we'll get something to eat, shall we? I think we thought about that all day. Your father will be home soon. I'm sure he'll be hungry. Merry Christmas. Oh, Jay, darling, we were so worried. Where, what happened? What's all this? What is what's what's happening? Happening? What's what's happening? Happening? I said it's a Merry Christmas. Do you like it? It's the most beautiful cut-down tree I've ever seen. It's great, Papa, really great. James O'Hanlon, if you don't tell me what this is all about, I'm going to faint or scream or both. Virginia, will you kindly place the presents around the tree? Now, mind you, don't step on them, Sean. I won't, Papa. You bet I won't. Now, Evie, I don't want you to faint or scream, but just listen. To make a long tail a short one, I... Oh, speaking of tails, pardon me. He was a friend when I needed one. James, <laughs> how can we afford to be feeding a kitten now? Not much less all this. Let him eat briskets. Oh. <laughs> Come now, let me tell you what's happened. Come on. It seems that that fella who I helped to catch in the alleyway behind O'Hara's has got himself an attorney. And since he'll be going to trial, I had to sign some legal papers, you understand. Yeah. Well, he won't be getting away, though, because it seems he also has quite a record in Chicago. In fact, he's wanted so much there that they've offered a small reward. There you are, darling. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes, of course, that's all I've got left after I bought the tree and the gifts and some food. Uh, I'll make it stretch. Just for one week. I had another surprise waiting for me down at the police station. What more? It seems that the fair city of New York has a need for police officers. And after the incident at O'Hara's, and at Senior Officer Flynn's suggestion, they've asked me to become one of New York's finest. <laughs> They said, and I'm quoting here, they said that I displayed extreme heroism. <laughs> Are you going to ride a horse, Papa? Can I ride it? Can I name it? Oh, what a bright goose of a boy. That may come, Sean, lad, but first there'll be some training. I start the day after Christmas. <gasps> oh, Papa, I'm so proud of you. Well, I hope that Maria will have cause to be proud of her Papa as well. What do you mean? There's a chance that Dom Dinelli will be joining the force, too. Oh, I wonder how that came about. And Officer Flynn said the precinct needed several good men, and so... That will be the best medicine for Maria's mother. Mm-hmm. You hear that, Nikki? Ain't it? <laughs> Maria's gonna get her Christmas wish from Santa. Nikki? Yeah! After St. Nicholas. At least his name isn't Santa or Claus. <laughs> Claus. Oh, Sean. Oh. I'm going to start the dinner. Yes, Martha, I'll pick up the cooking sherry on the way home. No, no, I won't be late. Yes, yes, Mother. <clears throat> yes, Martha, yes. Uh, and uh, uh, Frank Church will be joining us for Christmas dinner. Uh, and Martha, he just might bring a friend. Can we open our presents tonight, Papa? Absolutely not. Christmas morning, as usual. It's tradition, John. Indeed it is. Oh, that is a grand meal, Lady. Christmas briskets. You can't ask for better than that, can you? We are fortunate, James. Well, what's this? It's for you, Papa. It can't wait till tomorrow. It'll be too late. Is it something you made? No. I found a penny. Oh, 
wish I had something for everybody. Being my daughter is gift enough. Go on, Papa. Open your present. Well, all right. We'll make an exception this time, since tomorrow will be too late. It's today's paper, Papa. Today. Not a soggy, smelly one from yesterday. But how did you manage to... <laughs> the newsboy let me buy it for a penny. It was his last paper. Thank you, Virginia. I love you. And I love you too, Papa. Well, now, I won't be reading the Help Wanted column anymore, will I? <laughs> but the world goes on. You put that cat down and you come and help me with these dishes. Oh, no! Uh -uh. Would you all come in here a moment? There's something I think you should be hearing. And right on the front page. Is there a Santa Claus? We take pleasure in answering at once, and thus prominently, the communication below. Expressing at the same time our great gratification that its faithful author is numbered among the friends of the sun. Dear editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? And it's signed, Virginia O'Hanlon. Well, Papa, what does it say? Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect. An ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist, and you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The external light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus. You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papas or hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they do not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor man can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not. But that's not proof that they're not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseen. unseeable in the world. You tear apart a baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest men, no even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance, can push aside that curtain and view the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia. In all this world, there was nothing else as real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, Nay, ten times ten thousand years from now. He will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.